y'all welcome back to my channel if you're just seeing me for the first time hi my name is Chantel, a youtuber based in port harcourt nigeria if you like what you see already please do well to subscribe by clicking on that button on the right hand side that's well subscribe and the bell icon that shows up after so you don't miss out on any of my uploads without rambling too much let's just dive into what today's video is all about catch ya <laughs> I'll be recommending my favorite Netflix series and movies at the moment and yeah some of them I've watched some I'm still watching some I hope to watch very soon so I'll just be breaking them down and giving you guys like a summary of the storyline and what to expect if you eventually watch either of them Netflix is one of the things that have been keeping me sane during this whole lockdown period on days when I'm not filming or editing a video I can just have my bath in the morning and sit in front of the TV and watch Netflix from morning till night. That is how it has been. The first movie I'll be talking about is A Fall From Grace, guys. This is a Tyler Perry thriller and if you know anything about Tyler Perry movies, you know that the storyline is always top notch. This one features an advanced lady that fell in love with a con artist who happens to be her best friend's son and they just manipulated her made her broke, put her in so much debt, and even made her end up in prison where she was on um, trial. So she got in contact with some lawyer that helped her break the case after so much stress and trauma. Well, at the end of the day, the truth surfaced and she was set free. This movie made me cry so much, guys. I, I was like this throughout this movie my eyes were red my face was swollen this movie is one to watch if you haven't seen a fall from grace please go and do so right now after watching this video that is the next on my list is when they see us when they see us is actually a true life documentary that occurred in 1989 featuring five um um, um suspected males that were involved in the rape and battering of a woman and they got so bad that they were incarcerated for so long and they were tried and found guilty according to the law of them which was wrong because they were all innocent and had nothing to do with it after years and years and years and years of following up with the case they were found to be not guilty and were set free but this happened after life had passed them by their youth was was taken away from them a lot of things just changed in their lives and yeah, they are free now. They are known as the Exonerated Five, but then again, a lot of water has passed under that bridge. I just put myself in their shoes, or my brothers, or any of my family or friends, and it was so heartbreaking. It was so much of an eye-opener for me, and yeah, if you haven't seen When They See Us, it was directed by Eva DuVernay, and opera had something to do with it as well. It's very interesting, guys. I'm really, really eye-opening. The third on my list is Jane the Virgin. Jane the Virgin is a telenovela, telenovela romantic um, drama that was adapted in English. It was on TV at first before Netflix got right, and it's now on Netflix. I remember watching it while it was on TV, on DSTV, and now it's on Netflix, so I decided to catch up. It's about a virgin that was artificially inseminated by her boss's sister, with her boss's sperm so the whole drama unfolded and she broke up with her boyfriend started dating the boss she now broke up with the boss and went back to the boyfriend and a whole lot of drama she found out her father was a superstar because her mom kept it away from her all these years it's a series actually i really love it because it's very colorful like literally very colorful the combination of teal and white at the Marbella hotel so if you haven't seen jane the virgin it's from season one to five yeah and it's done with so season five is the last season and it's really really interesting and very funny as well the fourth on my list is greenleaf greenleaf is centered around the church and all of her scandal it features a family with um the father as the bishop and the mom as a pastor and one of the daughters as a pastor and the son actually there were so many secrets and lies and happenings that occurred in the video. I personally love this series because the storyline is different and it shines a different light on the church than what we are used to. It currently has four seasons which I believe is going to be renewable and opera also has something to do with this series so it's really 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 interesting. Lingo, lingo, <laughs> 
least on my list has to be miracle in cell number seven guys i'm saying this in no particular order so it doesn't mean that this is my fifth favorite video on netflix i just had to tabulate it but it's in no particular order sorry i forgot to mention that earlier so yeah miracle in cell number seven features um Ova. Ova is the daughter of Memo. Memo is an intellectually challenged man and he is Ova's father and they live with Memo's mother which is Ova's grandma and Ova was obsessed with some school bag when they went to the store to buy it the lieutenant colonel has already gotten it for his daughter so Memo went to walk the ship one day and he met the colonel's daughter and he tried to get the bag from her because like I said he's intellectually challenged and the girl fell into the water and hit her head on a rock and died instantly so Memo was taken into custody and the colonel made sure that he was convicted of murder which wasn't so because he had nothing to do with it so fast forward to months of being in prison and making friends he was eventually set free and found not guilty that movie was very heartbreaking i cried so much i'm going to insert what i feel like i looked like the day i watched that movie on twitter so many people were debating this and some people were like oh i did not cry i don't know why you all cried i'm like if you did not cry while watching miracle in cell number seven you must have this heart of stone yummy mom live actually dm me after i watched it and put it up on my insta stories and she's like oh she did not cry why am i crying i said oh my god i told her i said you have a heart of stone you have a heart of stone <laughs> but yeah miracle in cell number seven is so interesting and it really trended on um netflix it's one for the books if you haven't seen miracle in cell number seven please do so now and thank you later okay next on my list is dynasty dynasty is a rich feuding type of series where a heiress known as Fallon Carrington with her scheming and manipulative ways tries to take over her father's company and her father is somewhere there to a billionaire scheming his way to and they are feuding with another billionaire family it's really really interesting it's a very funny comedy series i love the fashion choice in the movie i love how everybody was dressing so well it's one that you'll be sure to laugh your ass off and just enjoy all together seventh on my list is the boy who harnessed the wind guys this movie is so inspirational if you haven't seen it please do well to do so right now after watching my video okay I watch my video please just go and watch it it's so interesting it features a boy who was taken off school because his parents could no longer afford his school fees and he still did not get derailed or feel um like he couldn't do better in life so he would sneak into the library and learn and learn and learn and eventually he got to find out how he could um, emancipate his community from the water issues they were having and eventually build a windmill for his community and they were able to get off farming it was so interesting guys this was another tear inducing movie for me i know guys i cry when it comes to the most frivolous things ever but when it comes to real life issues you will not see one tear running from my eyes i don't know why i can't explain that part about myself but yeah if you haven't seen the boy who harnessed the wind please do so it also features Chiwetel, Chiwetel Ejiofor. Four. Yeah. The eighth movie I'll be talking about is Murder Mystery and it stars Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler. Yeah, it's a comedy movie and it's so interesting. It features a couple who were looking to build up the spark in their marriage and they went on a trip to Europe. So the wife now got in touch with someone on the plane and he happened to be a billionaire. He now invited them on his uncle's yacht because his uncle was getting married and invited them there. So eventually that night there was a murder on the yacht and this couple were framed for the murder. It's very, very funny. If you haven't seen it, please go and watch Murder Mystery. Eventually the truth unfolded and they were set free but before that happened they went through a whole lot of drama and running around ninth on my list is a series and it is called the good place it's a fantasy comedy series that shows where good people go after they are dead so it's just showing what the afterlife looks like and it features a bunch of individuals that later found out they were not good enough when they were alive on earth and they shouldn't be in the good place 
But eventually they even found out that the good place is actually the bad place, but it was made to make them feel like they were in the good place. So if you haven't watched, I don't know if my explanation cuts it, but it's a very funny movie, funny series actually. Next on my list is Dirty John. This is a true life crime drama that stars a John Meehan that went into a relationship with Deborah, a manipulative one at that. And eventually people started to notice these things, but Deborah could not hear of it. Like she was so in love and she found nothing wrong with John until she now realized it herself. But fast forward to the end of the movie, her daughter killed John because he was he was something else he was just a manipulative human being he was he was everything wrong you want in a relationship that he even almost killed Deborah. to think that this was a true life story it really really broke my heart so if you haven't seen dirty john please do well to do so because you will really enjoy it and you will learn a lot of things the next on my list is a psychological thriller and it is called you were an obsessed human being man does the unimaginable like watching that movie gives me chills on my body anytime i watch that it's actually a series though it gives me chills because i'm like so things like this actually exist it's very interesting and scary at the same time so if you haven't heard about you please go search for it on netflix now and watch it as well because mm, that movie <laughs> if you want to know what obsession is please watch you he went all out and the way he even portrayed the role was scary as well. You could see through his eyes that, ah, mm -mm. nobody should be obsessed with you in that man. Next on my list is Money Heist. It's a Spanish crime drama that features two long planned robberies that were put in place by the professor where they were meant to rob the Royal Mint of Spain and the Royal Bank of Spain as well. It's very interesting. There are so many gunshots. If you're the type of person that loves gangster movies, gunshots and all of that, please do well to watch it. It's a series and it's really interesting. At least the little I have seen. I haven't watched the whole thing, but I'm more than halfway gone and I like it. The last on my list is Fifty Shades Free. And if you watch the Fifty Shades of Grey, the first one, you will know about the storyline that featured Christian and Anastasia. But in this one, they got married and they faced a lot of challenges where they actually pulled through because they love each other dearly. She eventually had a child and another on the way. It's so interesting. I love everything the Fifty Shades. So if you haven't seen Fifty Shades Freed, please do well to watch it. And disclaimer, it is 18 plus. So if you're not up to 18, you cannot watch Fifty Shades Freed. The next movies I'm going to recommend are those that are on my to watch list and number one is Extraction. I put it on my list yesterday because I really want to see it and it's actually trending right now in Nigeria. The next one is Overcome. It's also trending in Nigeria and I know two people that have already seen it and they testify that it's so 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 good. The third one is The Crown. The Crown is actually a series and I'm just going to give myself time to sit back watch it and enjoy it because it's long and i don't want to rush through it and the last one on my list is stranger things i've heard so many good things about this series and i can't wait to watch it myself and i know it's really interesting because i've seen the trailer so guys that's it with this video have you watched any of the movies i recommended or do you have any ones you want to recommend please do so in the comment section and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching also share with your friends because we need all the fun we can get this period so share with your friends so i can recommend some videos to them that they will enjoy and yeah thank you so much for watching today if you haven't subscribed up until now please do well to do so by clicking the bell icon that spells no the button that spells subscribe and the bell icon that shows up after so you don't miss out on any of my uploads thank you so much guys and i'll be sure to see you in my next one bye